Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Survival, episode 16. Last time, you may remember, we went and uh, pillaged the village a little bit and uh, got ourselves some books. Uh, that way we can start a library of our very own. And uh, we're going to go ahead and build that library today. But first, I wanted to simplify this uh, lighting system just a little bit. Uh, if you've been watching some of my tutorials uh, that I've been posting up here, you may notice that I actually simplified this lighting system significantly. Uh, way less redstone torches involved, less you know, general building materials involved. It's overall simpler. And I was just going to leave this as is, but uh, for the sense of you know congruency, if I ever came back here again, I did want it to match up the way I had it in the tutorial. So I'm just fixing this up here really quick. Uh, so bear with me, and then we'll go ahead and continue on our little adventure here. Now, the cool thing about this system, actually, this isn't going to work because it has to come one more out. The cool thing about this system is that it still allows the switch to be in the up position and have all of the lights be on. However, like I said before, it requires a lot less material. Before I had a uh, redstone torch behind each of these lamps, which reversed the signal, as it turns out, I only need to have one at the beginning of the system, right there behind the light switch, and that reverses the signal for everything. So that's what we're doing here, in case you were wondering. And of course, you see the lights off, and I run the redstone to it, and we've got, still got power. And, oh, looks like we need to place a redstone repeater. Very good. So Let's Play is quickly turning into a tutorial of its own. We'll go ahead and try to make this quick, and then we will continue on with our library construction. And, you know, I did get very fortunate by finding so many books in that village uh, that I am actually going to go ahead and repay the favor. I'm going to make as many books as I can using the material that I already have, and uh, we're going to go see if we can replenish their library a little bit. And, of course, I'm going to plant some new wheat for them as well because I just feel bad for taking all of their stuff. No, we shouldn't. They're just NPCs, but... You know, it's been eating me up inside. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. This is looking good here. Just about halfway done. And uh, in case you're wondering how to do this lighting system yourself, I will put a link in the description uh, to the tutorial. So, you know, feel free to check that out. I've also got other tutorials up there as well. Uh, I just recently did one uh, of a hidden door. Uh, which would actually look pretty cool behind a library bookcase or basically anywhere. Um, the way I made it in the uh, in the tutorial is just a, a simple stone wall, but uh, you could pretty much use it with anything. All right, yeah, this is looking good. See, we can get rid of all this stone. Yeah, this lighting system is extremely simple. And efficient yes so I'm still gonna end up with a whole lot of leftover redstone material which is good I like redstone the more of it the better because we can make more cool stuff with it and I actually do have a couple of slimes who knows maybe we'll start uh, playing around with sticky pistons and see where that takes us another redstone repeater there fantastic and this is actually going to have to come out one more as well. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. This was just driving me a little bit crazy. Uh, that redstone repeater is no longer going to be necessary. No lights over here. And actually, this is fine to go ahead and... Well, actually, I guess we don't really need to bring it this far at all. So all of our lights should still be lighting up. Let's go ahead and take a peek out here. All right. So yeah, now when we you know power this off, all the lights go off, power it on, and they all go on. And it is still up like a proper light switch when the lights are turned on. Perfect. Well, now that we have that figured out, I'm going to go ahead and build my library here. This looks like a good space for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and carry this stone wall. I will actually need some more of these stone bricks, which I should have here. Very good. Now let's just go ahead and extend this wall out this way. We'll have the door in the middle. And I'd like to have some glass panes. Yeah, 
So we'll just go ahead and glass panes should be in here as well. Now that I have some of these chests over here, you'll find that I'm going to be a little bit better organized. Not perfect by any means, but, uh, you know, we'll do the best that we can with it. Don't need that or that anymore. Make sure we're cleaning out our inventory whenever possible. And we'll go ahead and make a door for the library. And actually don't know that the glass panes are going to work the way we have, have them. But let's go take a look. Because I think when I place this door, which I want to be on this side. Yeah, see the glass panes aren't going to match up. It's okay. We'll just go ahead and put a couple of uh, stone bricks there as well. Actually, let's go ahead and continue this theme of wood. We'll just bring it all the way across. But it's not going to be jungle wood planks. It should be oak wood planks, I believe, which I should have some of still somewhere. Perhaps. Maybe I don't. Well, all right. We'll, we'll stick with the, the stone then. That's fine. We can always update that later. All right. So this is going to be our library. I'm going to go ahead and plop the enchanting table right in the middle of the room. So let's go ahead and get on that. I think I have everything to make that as well. Uh, let's see how many obsidian blocks I have. Let's see, nether brick, soul sand. Maybe I don't have any obsidian. We might have to go check at our other shelter. Let me go ahead and clear out some of this stuff. Actually, I want that in this chest over here. Uh, you put that, well, let's go ahead and take that as well. We'll probably do some farming. Redstone, shears, we'll keep those on us as well. Looks like we need to eat. Okay, let's have a snack. We're going to go ahead and run over, do some farming. Uh, okay, do some farming, and then uh, we'll go ahead and continue on with this library extravaganza. Ooh, Enderman. I wonder when I should start killing them. I don't have great experience against uh, Endermen. I tend to not fare well in battle against them, so I'm probably going to avoid them for a little bit longer, at least until we maybe get some enchantments and beef up our armor a little bit. But I'm going to have to start collecting them soon, or rather killing them, so I can get their Eyes of Ender. Yeah, I knew I had some obsidian somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a chance, so let's just go for it. We'll do the farming tomorrow. Uh, with all these creepers floating about, I'm really not comfortable, <laughs> as you can tell from my last video. Oh, crap. My last video, where the creeper foiled my attempts at getting a couple of cows in my farm. That's all right. There's always next time. All right, so let's get to making this enchantment table. Uh, I've got my obsidian. I will need my diamonds, and I will need... A book, which I have here, and if I remember right, it should just be three across the bottom, one in the middle, diamond on each side, and voila, we have our enchantment table. Perfect. Let's go ahead and place that down, and uh, let's make some books, or rather some some shelves, bookshelves. I'll need, let's see, I've got my books, it should be... Let's make some more books, too. Grab all my leather, uh, grab some sugar cane, grab any paper that I may have. And my wood. Planks. That should be about it. So let's go ahead and convert this all into paper. Very nice. Should be good for now. And go ahead and place these. And the leather. And it looks like that's about all the books we're going to get. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some of this unnecessary stuff away. Don't need that or that anymore. Go ahead and place our diamonds and obsidian away. And let's start with these shelves. Let's see how many this will get us here. Bookshelves. Oh, yeah. We'll have plenty to take back to the villagers. We will have plenty. Well, looks like that's going to be it. All right, going to place our wood away. Extra books. And let's go place down our bookshelves. 
Of course, I'm not going to do too much enchanting right off the bat. As you can see, I am only level 6, so we're going to go ahead and have to fix that a little bit. Let's go ahead and place up two shelves here and a couple there. And uh, let's see, I don't want to block the light, but we'll go ahead and put two there, two there. Total of, uh, let's see, one, two, four, eight bookshelves. Two more there, and two more there. All right, then we can go ahead and take three of these bookshelves back to the villagers as a, uh, a gesture of good faith. We'll go ahead and take some seeds over there and plant we'll plant some uh, some wheat for them as well, because I do feel bad for taking all their wheat. So we'll grab our seeds, and then uh, it should be close to daylight outside, so we can go ahead and do some of our farming as well. And do I still have my shears? Yes, I do. All right, so let's just go ahead and head up here. And is it still nighttime? It is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it. Why not? Get some XP out here while we're at it. See if I can get this creeper without. Uh, nope, didn't think so. That's all right. Okay. Now, we may see some other mobs out here. We are currently in 1.4, which was just released yesterday. I have yet to see a, uh, a zombie villager, at least in this game. But uh, as I understand, villagers can now be turned into zombies. I was playing in one of my other worlds, and I did actually see it, which was pretty hilarious. Uh, looks just about as you would expect. I mean, it's, it's a zombie, but... Uh, Looks like a villager. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get this guy. Do not blow up, you SOB. You're going to do that. All right. Very good. All right, one more level. We're doing all right out here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and head over here and uh, replenish their, uh, their books and wheat. And we'll probably call that an episode. Oh, man. Do I risk it? Yes. Oh, crap. This is probably a bad idea. Come on. Get out of my way, zombie. I am busy. Can't you tell? Where are you? Crap, where are you? Where are you? There you are. You. Where are you at? <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous. Okay. Where did he go? Oh, look at the sounds are a little bit more robust. All right. Where did he go? Man, I almost had him. Where the heck is that Enderman? Well, maybe he'll pop up again somewhere. It was a nice try anyway. Are there even any villagers still in this village? Last time I was here, there was one villager that I saw, but he uh, seemed to be on the run. Yeah, right now, I don't... Oh, there he is. Is that the same guy? Where did he go? Dang it. Where is that Enderman? Of course, now my air was pulled back. I don't want to waste it. Hello, Mr. Enderman. I have something for you. This is not looking good. I know as soon as I release this arrow, I'm going to see him too. All right. Whatever. Oh, there's the villager. 
Hey, guess what, Mr. Villager? I brought a present for you. It's wheat. Yes, I'm replenishing the wheat that I so selfishly took before. All right, there's that. And then uh, it's not much, but I do have, wait a minute. Did I? <laughs> I think I put those other bookcases away. Oh, now I feel bad. I couldn't bring their bookcases back. Well, maybe next time. All right, well, we'll go ahead and call that an episode. And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you did, in fact, like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. It certainly does help my channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by.